So as software developers, sooner or later, we should start caring more about coding interviews. Hi, this is me, Islam Abud at Coder1, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to crack the coding interview. So in my own opinion, and as a lot of other developers intend to pretty much say, that coding interviews are mostly broken. Since they completely don't test the right skills of the candidate and they just intend to go deeply into something completely different and out of ordinary, just like out of topic of the current position or the job you're going for. Most of the times they leave you either with super hard to solve problems or they just give you super weird questions that just, you know, gets you out of the topic. You don't even understand why you came to this interview or why it doesn't even exist. Well, in this video tutorial, I'll try to clarify most of the doubts behind coding interviews and try to clarify that and give you most of the tips and things you can do to master and crash your next interview. So you should always start by learning and mastering algorithms and data structures because they play a super important role in coding interviews. They pretty much exist in every company interview and with every single interviewer, it's pretty much everywhere. So it's your job to go through these algorithms and data structures. They're pretty much available everywhere. You can find them in different platforms. But one of the favorite platforms I've used in the past for crashing my interviews and just getting the knowledge needed to pass the interviews in data structures and algorithms, well, basically those platforms are like HackerRank and you can find LeetCode or Codility. Uh, you can even use other platforms or forums to find the right solutions for the algorithms or the problems you need to solve. I personally love HackerRank because I used it pretty much a lot before my interviews in the past and it just did a great job. It just gives you straight to the point uh, examples, straight to the point problems and it just like you pick up the editor and you get started solving the problems and you learn by your own. Also, if you're actually into the initial calls, make sure to always talk about your experience, your past job, and what you did before coming into the interview. Since the interviewer, pretty much when he does a first initial call, he's just looking for your experience, what you did, what you know, what companies you've worked with, or what your projects you created, especially open source projects. It can be a huge beneficial. If you haven't like worked in Fang or like famous companies, open source can rescue. And the best way to make sure you get this part right is actually create a list, just a single uh, simple note list. And you start writing your experience, what jobs you did before, what you know, text skills you've got, and what project you've worked with. And you can mention open source repositories on GitHub or anything pretty much. You can even forward him to drive URLs if you're not putting him on GitHub or whatever. Anything could be super beneficial. So just like create this list, before going into the interview and make sure to prepare everything beforehand and it's just going to be super beneficial because it's going to give you this confidence that you are going into the interview and you know exactly what to present and it's just like, you know, you have this confidence. And as software developers, problem solving skills are super, super important in our job. Since our jobs are completely around the corner of problem solving, finding the right issue there, debugging and stuff like that. So it's all around the corner of being a good problem solver. So in my opinion, or in what I did before is actually go before the interview just to pick up all the problem solving things you can figure out all the algorithms all the problems over the internet and you can just get started solving these of course you can have the solution later on on platforms i've said before and you can start thinking more like a software developer by solving these problems so in my opinion what you can do before going into the interview is pick up as many problems as you could start solving one by one and figure out every single step you did and just like try and memorize it try to get used to it and try also to use the most programming language you feel more powerful on because the interviewer won't just like limit you uh, on a specific language till if he has like, you know, the job listing and says so. But otherwise, if you don't have that and you've got the freedom to use whatever programming language you would like to, depending on the job, of course. So make sure to practice using the most use programming language by you so you've got the full potential to solve the problems and show off your skills to the actual interviewer. And since the coding interview is just pretty much as the same as an exam or a test, so writing hopeful notes, scripts, or anything that can pretty much help you prepare for the interview will be a great start by just like preparing and writing stuff 
on your computer or just like a sheet. So this way, it just gives you the opportunity to start from zero to the end of the interview and lead th throughout the full interview by yourself without leaving any gaps or any just like bad points and just try to more impress the actual interviewer. And also one very important point to notice about code interviews is try to always fill in the silence gaps between you and the interviewer. So try to talk as much as possibly as you could and not try to leave these like silence gaps that's just gonna give you um, like a little bit of like a doubt between you and the interviewer and let the, pretty much the interviewer doubt about your skills, like if you're not capable of this or about this specific skill or something like that. So always try to talk as much as possible, showcase your projects and prove to him that you are capable of taking this interview and leading it by yourself by showcasing everything you've got by yourself. And hopefully by using a bit of mix of all of these tips and tricks, you can pretty much figure out a way out into cracking your code interview. So that was actually guys about cracking and crashing your first coding interview. Hope you guys enjoyed the video tutorial. If you do like it, please push that like button of course. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and check out more videos on my channel. There's plenty of them and hope you just enjoy one of them of course. But without further ado, if you have any questions, put them in the comment below. I'll be very happy to answer all of your questions actually. And yeah, see you guys hopefully in the next ones.